What's up guys, Tom Beckerley here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get text alerts from your contact form submissions in Elementor. Okay, so the way we're going to capture the information and send it via SMS text message is through a webhook. So Elementor's contact forms have come a long way in the data that they push, and um, I use them for everything. I use them to track conversions in Google Analytics, uh, in Google Ads, and Facebook. Um, they've really, really come a long way. I've, I've gotten away from using Gravity Forms or any other type of third-party contact form because Elementor's contact forms are so um, so useful now. So right now, by default, the action after submit goes straight to email, right? So you're going to get an email anytime you get a contact form submission. So what we want to do is add a webhook, and that's what's going to allow uh, Zapier to take that information, to take that data, and send it to us in a text message. Just wanted to touch on something real quick on why you would want to uh, receive a text message for a contact form submission. Based on studies, companies were seven times more likely to qualify a lead, have an actual conversation with somebody about selling the customer if they got a hold of the customer within an hour. And what you're going to find is with a lot of your clients that are one-man shows or maybe they have a sales manager that delegates the leads, if they don't get to those leads within an hour, the chances of getting a hold of somebody diminishes greatly. And you know, ultimately, at the end of the day, you want your clients to close more business so they keep paying their bill. And this is one of those things that's going to greatly increase the chance of them getting a hold of that client and calling them back. So the text message uh, response for a contact form submission is just its key. So let me show you how that works real quick. So you're going to have to set up an account with Zapier uh, it's going to be a premium account, which is $19.99 per month. To use their um, webhook services, you do have to have a premium account. So webhooks by Zapier, the premium account, we're going to start uh, there with the webhook, right? The trigger for that event is going to be a catch hook. Basically, we're going to catch the information via the webhook, and we're going to submit that via text message. Okay, so it's going to be a catch hook submission. Okay, now once that saves, it's going to give us our web address for the webhook. So we're going to copy that web address. We're going to take that to Elementor's webhook section. We're going to place that, and we're going to update it, right? We're going to continue. So we're going to test and review. And I want to say I think I have to send a submission to make sure that works. Yeah, let's do that. So let's send a quick, as you can see my phone number here, test message, submit. Look at the success. I got mine on a dark background, so you can't really see it. But boom, so it pulled in the data, pulled in all the information. We've got the name email, phone number, and message. If you want to add other fields, you can. If you want to add address, if you want to add um, you know, any type of data that you would want to pull from that, you can definitely still do that. So that'll all come through. But this is just what I chose to use. Um, you don't want to overload with too much information because you know, you'll get people that will bounce and just don't want to fill uh, the format at all. So we're going to go to done editing that. Okay, so now we want to choose SMS by Zapier. And... What that's going to allow us to do is send the text message to the number that you choose. Now, it's going to ask you for um, a verification, but uh, you'll see that's pretty easy to do. So one second here while that pulls up. Continue. SMS added nine minutes ago. That's my number. It was already added and confirmed. You're going to get the ding that says that you have a successful connection. Continue. Now here's where you want to, um, this is the message that's going to come through on your text whenever somebody can completes a form submission. So you want to, for mine, I wanted to select the name first. Make sure you hit enter because otherwise it'll come across as just one continuous message. Um, I want to do the 
phone number next. And then I want to do the email third. And then the message I want to do last, which is right there. Okay. Continue. Okay. So we want to test and continue. Text message came through just like it was supposed to. Turn it on. And that's it. So now all you have to do is go to a web form submission, type in the information. This is a message for response. Hit submit. Anytime a contact form comes through, you're going to get a text message that tells you um, that somebody submitted one. Um, nice thing about that, like I said, whenever you get a hold of somebody within an hour, they're much, much more likely to contact you. So hope that was helpful. Um, if you guys have any questions, just drop them in the comments. But other than that, uh, thanks for listening.